want things to happen today. We want things to happen this very minute. And, and we want things to happen at this very moment. But God said, sometimes you got to just stand still and watch the salvation of the Lord. Sometimes you just got to be patient and wait. Good things come to those that wait on the Lord. Woo. I remember what the prophet Isaiah said. Those that wait on the Lord, he shall renew their strength. He said they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. And they shall walk and not faint. I want to know if there's some people in this room this morning. If you can stand for your strength to be renewed. If you can stand to mount up with wings like eagles. To run and not grow weary. To walk and not faint. Children of God, I got some news this morning. If you don't grow weary and well doing, you're going to reap if you faint not. Don't grow tired in doing good. Don't grow tired in praying. Don't grow tired in praising God. You just keep pressing, even in the hard times, even in struggling times. Keep on searching God. Keep on seeking God. Keep on praising God. And watch what He does. The answer's on the way. The answer's on the way. Hallelujah. My heart is filled with this bubble of joy. My heart is bubbling with joy this morning, right? I feel like there's some miracles about to be released. I feel like there's something about to be released in this house this morning. We're about to step into the brink of a breakthrough. We're about to see something take place in this house this morning that we ain't never seen before.
Lord, they don't know what direction their life is going right now. I pray, Holy Ghost, that you will go to that home right now, wherever they may be watching. Lord, at the moment right now that you will touch them. Lord, and that you will begin to draw their hearts to begin to pray and begin to call on the name of the Lord. Your word said that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Lord, it's that simple. And I pray, God, not only that we call on the name of the Lord, but God, that we believe and that we'll continue to walk hand in hand with you. Lord, I thank you for the work that you're doing right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I give you praise. I give you glory. Lord, it's all due to you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 that would give their life to the Lord. Which is to say, 
Little girl, I say unto thee, Arise. I say unto thee, Arise. That means get up. Get up. Get up. You see, we're not playing with games. We're not playing with Jesus speaks to death and death has to flee. Somebody's going to get a hold of this in a minute. There is nothing that's too big for God that he can handle. He can speak to death and death will flee. He can speak to your problem and your problem has to go. But if you doubt, you got to go out. But Jesus spoke the word and the words come to pass. And the Bible said this little girl immediately the blood began to flow and her lungs began to pump and she sat up in the bed and all of a sudden Jesus looked over and he said feed her feed her give her something to eat give her something to eat so they fed this little girl Jesus went on his way because he knew there was somebody else down the road that needed his help this is something that's so amazing about our Lord he don't spend very much time in one place because he knows he has children everywhere that needs his help. He would stop off and he would help this one, but he wouldn't stay very long. He would do what they needed and he would move on down to the next one. And he would stay over here for a while. He would touch this one and then he would end up over here and he would do what they needed. He would bless them and he would heal them and he would save them. He would deliver them. He would open their eyes. He would unstop their ears. Show him that he's the Savior. That's what our God is doing today. He's revealing himself in so many different ways, in so many different areas. And that's the way he's doing in this hour, even in this generation. God reveals himself in so many different ways. Some people, they, they, they see God by, by seeing God heal somebody. Some people, they come to believe in God just by hearing a preacher preach. Some people come to believe in God just by reading the Word. Some people come to believe in God through singing. God reveals Himself in so many different ways. But I tell you one thing. It's all by the power of the Holy Ghost that every one of us comes to it. Because the Bible said, oh hallelujah, no man comes to the Father except the Spirit draws him. And I feel this morning that the Spirit is drawn. The Spirit is drawn. Hallelujah to God. The Spirit is drawn. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. While these are still praying, I'm just going to give it a few more minutes. I'm going to give it a few more minutes just to keep it pressing and pressing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise your mighty name. We magnify you, Lord. Touch Sister Tina and all these, Lord. Mighty God, mighty God. You'll notice, we're so glad everybody's here this morning. Hallelujah. You may go to our business as well. Let the Spirit of God lead you and guide you. Amen. We may feel like 
going somewhere, but if you feel the Spirit of God telling you not to go or to go somewhere else, you better mind the Lord. You better mind the Lord because He has a plan for you. And you'll miss it if you're not careful. You'll miss it. Can I tell them about what happened yesterday? Yesterday, after well, we've been to the men's conference Friday night and Saturday, my God, what an amazing weekend we had at the men's conference over Birmingham and Solid Rock. Iron men. Where's our iron men at? Can I, can I hear you? Praise God. It was a mighty weekend at the men's conference. And I'll tell you what, God just poured out his spirit in a mighty way. So Friday night and, and Saturday night, Friday night, Saturday morning, we get over there at 9 o'clock, and, and we was there. They was singing, and then I think there was three different preachers that preached that morning. And then we got done yesterday, and we go out, and there was probably maybe close to 50 people that were baptized. My God, that was amazing. They come out of there, and these folks were jumping in with their clothes on, their shoes on. They were going to to jump in the water and be baptized. They didn't care. They was radically changed and on fire for God. And they just wanted to get in the water and be baptized. That's what it's all about. When you don't care, you just want more Jesus. You want to obey what God's Word said. And, 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 and it don't matter what nobody thinks about it. You're just obeying God. You're obeying what the Spirit said. And so, but Friday night, it was late getting in. Then we had to get up all the floor to the drive all the way over. So we were tired. We get done. We go to the gas station to get gas. We're tired. We're ready to get home. But as we get gas, Brother Jeremy, I'm pumping gas. Brother Jeremy spots this homeless guy sitting over here on the curb. The Holy Spirit prompts him to go speak to this guy. Well, there wasn't nobody else going to do it. So Brother German says, you know what? All right, Lord. He goes and talks to him. He ends up, goes inside, gets him a hamburger and stuff to eat. The guy ain't had nothing to eat in a while. Begin to talk to him. He comes back outside and all of us that was in the truck, we begin to minister to the guy, begin to pray for him. He tells us that he's had a battle with drugs. His mother has fell off uh, and broke her hip, I believe it was. But this guy, all he needed was somebody to pray for him. All he needed was somebody to show him some love. And he, he said, I've been looking for a church. I need somebody that, they, that will help me and, and lead me in the right direction. So we told him about Solid Rock over there. That's, that's right there by his house. He lives just like right down the street, not even a quarter of a mile down the road from that church. So he, Brother Jeremy said, hey, right here is your church right down the road. Right in walking distance. And so, God led that. But if we would have listened to the flesh, we would have never went over there. We would have never went over and talked to that guy. Because we was ready to get home. Oh, we was fired up. Yeah, yeah. But we're tired. We're ready to get home. But you know what? There was a blessing in that. That brother's life was changed. On the way home, we're talking about it. This is no glory to any of us in that truck now. This is all glory to God. But while, I promise you, we don't want no glory. But while we're coming home, the Holy Ghost quickened us. And, and we our, our spirits learned. And we all felt this. That that brother was sitting there. Two weeks. He told us I've been clean off of drugs for two weeks. But he was sitting on that corner contemplating on nine dope. And we, all of our spirits lined up and we believe this. If he would have took that dope, we believe the death angel would have come. We felt like he would have died. We're not God, we don't know, but that's what the spirit put in our hearts, every one of us. And we believe that the Holy Ghost led us there to intervene. I'm telling you, if you will obey the Holy Ghost, you may be saving someone's life. You may be saving your own life. You don't know what God has in plan. But I'm telling you, God said, I know the plans that I have toward you. I know the thoughts I think of you.
says the Lord. And I promise you one thing. If you'll just walk with God and obey Him, don't let your flesh dictate what you want to do. Obey the Spirit of God. And He'll lead you in the right direction. Crucify your flesh daily and operate in the Spirit. Now I'm going to hush. You called me up here to take up an offering, didn't you? All right. Volunteers, would you come up here? Hallelujah. Lord, and you would come down and 
answer their, their prayers, God. Lord, that you would just come down in a mighty way today and touch each one. Lord God, that you would bless the, the tithes, the offerings, Lord, the building fund. And God, that you would bless the gift and the giver. The ones that don't have to give, God, bless them also. Lord God, I just give you all praise. Lord, take control of this service. We're here for you, God, not nobody else. We're here for you. This is your day. This is your house, your service, and we give it to you now. In Jesus' name, have your way.